Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. With a break last weekend, popped away again in the camper van just for a much needed R&R. &R. Quality time with uh, with the missus away. And uh, kind of think about the other bits and bobs and, and all the plans that and things I've got to do really. So, uh, um, and yeah, this year I'm going to spend an awful lot more time a lot more time and uh, uh, just relaxing and doing next to nothing because in the past I haven't um, so uh, I've learned the lesson and I'm gonna just chill out more really so anyway I digress today the plan is to uh, remove the, uh, the clutch the pressure plate and the flywheel and to do that I'm gonna transfer it from there to the hoist get it on the deck Remove all the bits, then transfer it back onto the build sand. Uh, turn it upside down, remove the um, sump, have a look what's in there, then remove the crank, the rods and pistons, and just have a look around. Have a look around in there. I'm not going to do an awful lot in there, um, and uh, we'll just have a scan really to see where things are at with it and see what's in there because I'm quite intrigued. Because uh, um, you don't know it yet, but uh, the cylinder head um, last week went down to um, the Thurston Engineering um, to uh, a, a, a mate of mine who has I've been talking to on and off over the years on the the Tour Five fraternity, um, a chap called Baz Thorn. Um, so here uh, he's uh, he's received the cylinder head. And uh, they made they they're going great guns with it, and they made great progress. So uh, up to date, the pressure the cylinder head's been pressure tested. Thankfully, passed the test. Um, it's failed on a few valves. Um, the vacuum test with the valves. So um, the the whole head's been stripped, and is it, as I speak is being worked and um being fully reworked and restored to good working order. Um, as well as obviously popping a new valve in um, to replace the um, well, vaporized one would be a, the best word to describe it so um, after being on the uh, the phone with with Baz uh, yesterday um, and with the the results the disappointing results really with the leak test across all four cylinders that planted the seed of doubt in there I've decided that I'm going to strip the, the block and get the block sent again, uh, sent to, to, to Baz and his team at first and engineering and, um, to just give, just have it got, get, get it given a, a once over. So, so that is, that's the, the plan, um, for this episode is just to strip it down, have a bit of a nosy really, see what's inside it because, um, I was told, um, when I bought the car, that um, that it could have had three angle valves in the cylinder head, um, and it actually has. Uh, Baz confirmed that yesterday when I spoke to him, so it had has actually got three angle valves in there uh, in the head. So, so there was a nice, uh, nice little little bonus really um, in that respect. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get 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 you on a time lapse and. Um, Try not to bore you too much with uh, transferring the, the block away out from the stand back to the uh, engine hoist. Pull the clutch, get the clutch gear off the uh, flywheel. Transfer it back to the stand, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll set to work uh, in real time, and um, in stripping the block down. So, uh, right, I'm going to get to it, and uh, I'll see you in a bit.
right then that's the engine upside down and one of the things i discovered when i were uh, when i removed the uh the flywheel was that the i think the uh the crank seal was starting to weep a little so if you look at the flywheel it's damp so uh and you can see actually where the oil has since fused out it's a handful of bolt holes and the spigot hole here so um crank seal was failing basically so at least that saved the clutch i guess but uh yeah it's upside down first job is to remove the sump and then remove the crank and uh that's basically mission accomplished and then all i need to do is find a pallet let's put everything on and uh get it sent away so uh right first things first though i'm gonna clear up all this all this shite that's on here um, I'm going to give it a, a, a proper thorough uh, vacuuming because uh, obviously I prepared this yesterday I'm halfway-ish well probably just a little over halfway now through preparing this for uh, degrease um, what's left of the paint to remove get a full degrease uh, prime uh, wet and dry and get it prepped for the uh, for the special finish that's going to go on it so uh, we'll talk about that another time so i'm going to tidy up and uh, i'll catch you in a minute all right then welcome back what i'm going to do is remove the sump and i'll put it on a time lapse and uh we'll do the big reveal um when i've got all the bolts out so uh, i'll see you in a minute <laughs> Up, as we say in the aerospace train. Okay, so let's put that there. Right then, so I was a bit worried that it would have been our, that was our TV um, sealant holding it all together, but um, it wasn't. So Yet again, as was uh, stated when I bought the, the car, um, they said that it was a, a baffled sump in here, and it seems there are. So, another, um, well, another nice surprise. So, uh, happy days on that. Old chef, but um, not happy with this though. The chain's really, really loose. Very, very loose. So I've just got the extended um, pickup pipe, which is loose. It's tabbed anyway, so I'm not really that concerned with all that. But uh, the alarming thing, from my point of view, with it is is how loose this chain is. I mean, that's I think that's really really loose. Let me just grab the camera and show you. Um. Just how loose it is. That's fucking. That's really, really, really loose. I don't think they're supposed to be that loose. Of course, there's no tensioners on them, um, so 
Yeah. But yeah, happy days. I have a uh, baffled sump. So that's a proper bonus. So I'm much after about that. So uh, yeah, right. We'll uh, we'll get it all out now then. So I think uh, to split the. Uh, a baffle plate from the block so I'll take the oil pump out yeah take the yeah uh, so they made an extra aluminium bit to go across here but anyway I'll be part of the oil pump so I can uh, take this off so three bolts holding that and get the baffle plate out and uh, we'll look and look at uh, removing the crank so uh, right I'll see you in a minute I managed to uh, to crack off uh, the um, the big end big end cap bolts. They were just in stupidly tight. These were also ridiculously tight uh, with with both sets of bolts. Uh, the housing, uh, the the crank seal housing, they were ridiculous. So I, I literally had to go um, half inch drive. To crack them off which is fucking ridiculous um, and I had to do the same with all the uh, the big end bolts um, so yeah what I'm going to do now is uh, remove them one by one um, I don't need this now actually the um, and uh, just remove them one by one um, like an idiot I forgot to remove the, uh, the uh, auxiliary uh, pulley um, adapter oh, off. Back here, of course, Just now there. I can't lock it out because I've got the flame behind Cracking it. off the main, uh, main caps. And uh, ironically, these are nowhere near as tight as the big end caps. Um, they were just ridiculous. Yeah, these are nowhere near that bad. So, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a disaster, this one. So, yeah, it is, it is where it is. So, what have we got here? We've got, uh, uh, so, five, four, three, two, and one there, the fly. So, right, okay. So, I'm just going to take from that anyway, just. Quadruple sure everything is going back. Welcome back. Exactly. Having a bit of an issue yeah, taking the uh, number three main bearing cap away. Don't really want to bully it too much. Really, really tight. I can really, really fucking tight. So it's stuck on the dowels. Um, Really stuck. 
more than I am. And of course it's covered in oil. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Good afternoon everyone. It's Saturday afternoon. <coughs> yeah, just clear my throat. Um, and then the last bit, obviously I was wrestling with removing the number three, the central bearing, main bearing cap, um, to remove it from the engine. Um, after a bit of head scratching, thinking how am I going to do it, because obviously there's no thread running in them, you can't use the bolts to pull, or any of that stuff. Um, <laughs> so I decided this this, this morning to, to message um, Baz, um, to ask him what the score was with it, and um, <laughs> he said, uh, first thing he asked was, have you removed all four bolts? To what, to, at that point I thought, fuck, I've only removed two. I can't remember there was four. And then he went on to say that there were two other bolts uh, mounted to the sides. So there's one here and obviously one down in there. So funnily enough, I removed those two and the cap string came straight out. So every day is a school day, as they say, I removed that. So uh, thanks, thanks, Buzz, for, uh, <laughs> for, the, for the advice. It's safe to say I'll never forget that lesson. Um, and yeah, so we're, we're ready to uh, extract the crank from the block, really. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll do that in a minute. We've got a bit of a tidy up the tools and stuff. And uh, we'll have a look at it and uh, see see what kind of condition it's in. Um, from what I looked at the caps, the shells on the caps, there's there's a bit of scoring. So chances are, I, I think it will probably need the crank will need some kind of of, of working. So uh, so yeah, safe to say really that the strip down hasn't gone anywhere near as uh, as well as I thought it was going to go. But never mind, you learn stuff and uh, you move on. So uh, I'll catch you in a minute. We'll be moving, removing the crank, having a look at it on the, on the bench. And um, putting the uh, main bearing caps back in the block where they belong. And um, removing the block from the engine stand to get it ready for transportation along with the bits down to, uh, to Thurston Engineering. So uh, I'll see right, you in a bit. Just going to whip the crank out the block. Carefully. Bring it across onto here. Right then. Yeah. Journal on number three is not great actually. Definitely not. You can see that as well actually. You can actually. Right. Apologies for that. The uh, battery decided to die, but uh, as we've ascertained, there's, there's some scoring. On this radius, so yeah, not ideal. Um, there's, there's some on there. I think in the main, the uh, is, yeah, I'll probably need a, a polish. Nothing catastrophic, but uh, that's kind of what I was expecting. So, all oh, looks all right in here. Oil spray, oil spray bars. And of course, the, the purpose of these is uh, when the engine's running, it sprays oil into the cylinders to keep the uh, the rings, the piston rings, lubricated. So I decided I'm going to keep the uh, the water pump on because I replaced that obviously um, on the first round of uh, working on the car. So I'm going to rotate. Um, I'm going to put the caps back on. Rotate it upright again, and uh, 
and remove it from the uh, from the stand so I can start packing things up and uh, get them sent away down to Baz in, uh, in Essex. So uh, I'll catch you in a minute. Right, welcome back. That's the crank and the pistons and the uh, cam belt pulley and the woodruff key in the box uh, awaiting for me to uh, waiting me waiting for me to bubble wrap them all um the block i've given the block the block a quick uh, quick once over as well um i put the head the old head gasket back on with uh bolts they're not exactly the right size but uh finger and thumb it'll hold them I tighten them up just enough with finger and thumb to hold the gasket which obviously will hold the uh the liners in when it's in transit so uh yeah i've basically taped this plate on onto the, uh, onto the edge of the block and uh as you can see it's uh it was already fairly clean anyway to be to be fair and i've given the uh some bolts a quick one so as well uh, absolutely fucking minging so um i'm gonna end this video here so yeah it's been uh it's, it's been far from um going to plan this phase <laughs> um as you've of no doubt seen but um but yeah at least now there's there's progress in as much as i'm getting you know stuck in again to the project it's this week's been a particularly tough one um, you know from from with a from a fatigue potential it's been it's been pretty pretty shit to be fair but anyway um i'm here um there's a lot of people less fortunate than i am so we're here i'm still uh, alive and kicking so uh yeah so uh thanks for watching as you know, as ever uh thanks for watching and um if you think that you know know somebody who would enjoy this uh, this channel please give it a share um and uh yeah as ever thanks very much for your uh, support thanks for following my journey and uh, i'll catch you next week where i get uh, stuck in into cleaning the flywheel the mounts the uh, the pipes um I'm going to be cleaning these uh, as well, and um, well, cleaning the uh, the spacer plate, the baffle, the sump, and uh, hopefully in that ep episode we will put everything on a pallet and get everything ready uh, to send down to Thurston Engineering. So, thanks again. Stay safe, everybody. Take care. Look after yourselves. See you next week.